Eagles fans, did you enjoy your bye weekend? Did you get anything done? Did you rake the leaves in the front yard? Did you go to the gym? Did you at least go visit your mother? No? I went to go visit your mother. She wants to know why you haven't called. Oh, thank God the bye is over. I hate the bye. I mean, it just messes up my whole Sunday routine. Not to mention I had to spend my entire Sunday on my in-law's couch watching the Giants and the Cowboys win. Ugh. But all kidding aside, my in-laws are warm and kind-hearted people whose hospitality is only outdone by my mother-in-law's culinary expertise. Can we please talk about something else now? The Falcons! Yes, the Atlanta Falcons coming into Philadelphia with an impressive undefeated 6-0 record. Well, Lottie freaking nah! Hey, Atlanta, I got a record for you, all right? How about 0-5? That's your lifetime record against the Eagles at Lincoln Financial Field. Oh, yeah, and I got another one for you, Atlanta. Try this one, 13-0. That's Andy Reid's record after the bye. You know you can't beat the man after he has an extra week to prepare. Trying to beat Andy Reid after the bye is like trying to beat Lindsay Lohan in the beer pong tournament. It ain't gonna happen. Trying to beat Andy Reid after the bye is like trying to beat Joe Buck in a who sounds like a bigger douchebag competition. I might actually have a shot at that one. Trying to beat Andy Reid after the bye is like... We now interrupt this regularly scheduled program to bring you pictures of Asante Samuel missing tackles. So here is how the Philadelphia Eagles beat the undefeated Atlanta Falcons. Key to victory, numero uno. You have to control the passing game of the Atlanta Falcons. Which the Eagles did a pretty good job with against the Detroit Lions. Oh yeah, up until the fourth quarter. The same kind of philosophy needs to go into the game plan against the Atlanta Falcons. Except this time, believe it or not, it's gonna be tougher. You know what's worse than trying to cover Megatron all day? Trying to cover Roddy White, Tony Gonzalez, and the almighty Huli Huli Julio all day. Yeah, that's a pretty badass trio. If they're gonna burn you, let them try to do it through the ground. Their 29th ranked rushing attack isn't gonna get it done. But Matty Ice, their 8th ranked passing attack, and 14 touchdowns through the air will dare them. Dare them to run the ball. Disguise your coverages. Use the blitz. That's what Jim Johnson would do. Key to victory number two. If this undefeated Atlanta Falcons team has a weakness, it's their run defense. They are giving up 144 yards per game on the ground. That's 28th in the league. Meanwhile, believe it or not, the Eagles have the 10th ranked rushing offense in the NFL. I bet you didn't know that, did you? Apparently 122 yards per game is good enough for 10th in the league. Who knew? That is right. Now try this one on for size. The Eagles are ranked 13th in rushing attempts ahead of teams like the Pittsburgh Steelers, the Carolina Panthers, the Baltimore Ravens, and the Atlanta Falcons. Look, I know, it sounds like I'm just repeating myself. But don't think of it as beating a dead horse. Think of it as beating a stubborn walrus over the head with a pylon. Run the ball, please. We interrupt this regularly scheduled program to bring you late breaking news. Ladies and gentlemen, the NFL Network seriously fun guy thought to be missing or deceased, as we had all hoped, has been found in Atlanta. Key to victory number three. This team needs to realize that the playoff run starts right now. They are a three and three team. They are an underachieving three and three team. And if they want any shot of making the playoffs, they gotta turn this shit around right now. Realistically, to make the playoffs in this division, you have got to go seven and three for the rest of the year. Their opponents for the remainder of the year have a combined 25 wins, 26 losses. Yeah, that's tough, but it's doable. I'm gonna be honest with you, Eagles fans. This is E-Rock being completely honest with you. 
we're going to know exactly who this Eagles team is in the next three games. Atlanta, New Orleans, Dallas. This is it, Eagles fans. This is the truth. If the Eagles are above 500 after those three games, we're going to the playoffs. If they're below 500, we are not. So here it is, E-Rock's Week 8 prediction. The Eagles are going to have a tough game against one of the league's best teams. But the Falcons have never won at Lincoln Financial Field. Oh, and 5. And Andy has never lost after the bye. 13-0. That is math so simple, even Asante Samuel can tackle it. Falcons step into the wrong birdcage this time. Eagles win 28-24. Congratulations to John Williams for winning the last Facebook Friday. It's been a while since we've had one of these, right? This week's Facebook Friday prize will be an Eagles print signed by starting middle linebacker D'Amico Ryans. So remember, boys and girls, to give me a like on Facebook, I provided a link below. And also follow me on Twitter at the mighty E-Rock. Until next time, let's go birds and I will see you at the tailgate.